Hello everyone, this is Phantom2502, and welcome to my satisfactory Let's Play Update 4, Episode 23. On this episode, we are going to try to get our automation for our automated wiring and our statters. Um, in between episodes, you see that I've made a whole bunch of stuff for our next part of our build. Um, in the MAM, our expanded tool belt is done. And let's see what our doggos have in store for us. Oh, and between episodes, I did our power switches. <clears throat> so we have our initial power. So that's going to have our one coal miner and water extractors um, and uh, our biomass stuff and this. So if the power goes down, we can get our biomass burners to get the production of the coal going and then the coal itself the part of the mid power we turn those on that'll be coal oil all that stuff <clears throat> and then this is for the late game nothing onto it and then we bring our nuclear our full thing online after that so it'd be a three-tier power system our batteries once we have them will go into initial power all right and uh, geothermal obviously because that doesn't need any requisites all right so then we have that connected to our main power switch which is for a whole station then we have extraction so all miners that are not power related will be in there and same with water extractors that are not power related production uh, anything that produces things turns raw materials into final materials uh, constructors assemblers etc that don't have to do with power will be that one and then consumption so that gets split into sinking and recreational so recreational would be like hyper tubes and anything jump pads anything like that so that's how i split our power station up and we have all our main circuit breakers so that's pretty cool and let's see what our doggos have in store for us Ooh, okay that's nice oh, some limestone okay yeah so we'll put some iron ore there too. All right. <clears throat> All right. So the first part of this is to get more wire and more cables and statters and automated wiring. You need, I think, 40 wire for the statter and 50 cable for the automated wiring. Uh, so we're gonna go make more of that now. And we do have the um, iron wire uh, recipe, and that one is more efficient to make wire. But for now, we're not going to use it because level three and four, we I want to keep things local for iron and stuff like that, and we need more iron for motors later. We only have a little bit left in our area, but we have a lot of copper for this. Later on, let's get to five and six, and maybe do trains and stuff like that. Um, and we're going to be getting extra mining all over the place uh, once we get to those technologies. Uh, then we'll use the iron wire because. Um, Otherwise, copper is used a lot more than wire, or than iron at that point. But for now, since we have some copper, I'm not using it for anything. We'll build here. going to be copper sheets and the ends wires copper sheets won't be full but um, it'll produce 15 <coughs> instead of the 20 we'll switch this one over to wire all right now our smelters strongly advise you to harvest this specimen.
Your contract legally compels you to harvest this artifact. Okay, good, I can do that. Just want to make sure I can do the splitting the way I want it. Power the whole system. There we go. So now we need another splitter. Okay, good. We can reach that. All right. So this will be a level two. Um, we're gonna need a splitter over here. smelter out here. I strongly advise you to harvest this specimen. There we go. Copper ingots. Um, splitter. Sheets. We gotta power this whole thing after. Alright. That'll be power for over here. Let's get rid of these. Logistics splitter. No, sorry. Production constructor. That to there. You are a cable. Okay. All right. Let's do everything through here. Merger. Gonna go straight up. are all going to be working properly. Hopefully not too much backload. Good. All right. And that didn't make too many cables. Okay, no, we're all we're all good going. Okay. It's at 60 on a 120. Okay, so now it's just a bunch of these things I've got to put together. wires, which will go there, so all 60, 120 will go there, and then we're going to merge our
copper sheets together. And merge that into here. And obviously we'd have to update this to level 3 belts, but let's get everything powered first. Alright, power. Now well, let's update another power pool. That one, let's say. Like that. Make sure everything's working first. Oh, right. Um, did I change the 75%? No, I didn't. It's 100. My bad. Alright, these seem to be working. That seems to be working. That seems to be working. Okay. This has to be level 3 now. It's like 135 items now coming in. Okay, that's good for there. That'll work. Um, should pick up a few items. Uh, let's see, how many concrete? We probably have enough concrete. Alright, we'll do that. Do that. Okay. Now I'm gonna have to store the automated wiring in the stator. <coughs> so let's get that going. These we probably have to rearrange this a little bit. close. Alright. Okay. As far as I can go this way will be probably here. Reattached. All right, let's get all the rest of it. These will be the last containers coming this way. Um, any more containers we'll put on the other side. Over there going the other way. Here, I think, or here. I don't remember. One of the 
one of them anyway. Okay. Right. Okay, so we need these. There we go. Uh oh, that's wrong. Those are those two up there. Those two there, the top thing, that. And then over here. Okay. So the only thing left is the smart splitters. I oh, only have one of those. Okay, we're gonna have to make a few more, I think. There you go. So this will be the statter. Flow will go straight. Red will be none. There we go. And then, oh yeah, we're gonna have to get more. More AI, more AI limiters. So let's see. Downstairs, we're gonna want. Hmm. I guess I can use one. Splitter instead of two splitters, do both cable and wires downstairs. It'll make the limiters on each cheaper. Oh! Darn, we're down on that. That's not good. It's not enough. All right. Well, we need at least two smart sp smart splitters, so I guess we're gonna, you guys are gonna follow me for a run then. Right. Let's go for a kitchen run. Maybe I should have my own <clears throat> personal tractor or something for this. Oh, do we have the production for that? No, I don't. But that might not be such a bad idea after this episode. Give myself a tractor. Maybe give myself some solid biofuel, since that, that seems to be the most efficient thing to run tractors off of. My own personal tractor can run off solid biofuel because we don't need to recharge it all the time. We don't need to automate it. Then I don't have to run all the time to get this caterium. As for automating the caterium and the sulfur, um, because of our coal nodes and we don't want to go like really far for the colonos before we unlock oil. That's why we're not automating this, these sections at the moment. I mean, we do need them, but we don't need super much of the items at the moment, so we're willing to do the runs. coal right now is our only source of power. Once we have oil, we're able to do much larger amounts of power from like one source. I think at first it's petroleum coke and then it switches over to fuel. and then we're going to have to change that. You know, I don't think we're going to change it all. All we need is enough for some wires. And 
needs two AI, two smart splitters. So. switch maybe 60 over and do that. I wonder if I'll see my tractor. Tractor crossing. I thought this episode would actually be pretty close to half an hour, but I wasn't thinking I'd need to do this stretch. Because the last few episodes have been going kind of long. machinery. some ingots. The ingots and quick wire from those ingots. Alright, All right, two limiters. Make ourselves a little bit more on the ingots. There we go. That should be enough for now. I'll uh, convert all the rest of them while we're out off screen. Alright, logistics, smart spiller. Ah, oh, that's too bad. Can't even do that. That looks fine. What's wrong with that? That's too bad. Well, eventually, it's going to make sense. There. there we go. Automated wiring to the left. Overflow straight. Nothing to the right. I guess there's a second way I could have done it without it. I could have done it here. It's not as clean, though. Alright. That's good for storage. Now we got to get our power up and running. Uh, between episodes, I'm going to unlock hypertubes, and I think I'll get two hypertubes, one to go from this top layer to my middle one, and then from there down to the bottom. Get some hypertubes going. Because it sucks uh, vertically having to go down this walkway all the time. Cool. I'm 
big things do we have right now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So we go 120 and 360 even with the water. It'll be very even with the water. I might move this pipe because that's going to split evenly 40, 40, 40 or try to. I move it slightly over and then it might, this whole piping thing might work a little better. Because it's going to be exact for a bit and that might mess up some of these coal stations. At least we have our water buffers to help us there. Alright. generator number Splitter. Which if I can get on here. Yeah. See, it's very difficult to get on here. Alright, we'll go up this way. One twenty. We should probably make sure that the right speed belts are everywhere. Because we could use a 120 entirely now. Still not far enough. Yeah, hey, this is long.
get rid of that problem. It would be easier to at least align it. Is that better? No, probably the other way. Oh. Try that. Just barely hitting it. Oh, it's 600. That'll be good enough. For a while. Alright. That should be 360 and 120, so let's see. 15, 30, 45, okay, 60. That should be perfect. We should at least keep the level 2 split both ways. Do that, but then it's level 1 after that. Alright, that should keep everything going. 120, which is perfect, and then all the water, which should hopefully be perfect. Hopefully everything... Yeah, we have power problems, we have power problems, I guess. But that's exactly 360 water coming in and going out. And sometimes when the water is exact, sometimes you have problems depending on how your piping is set up. So hopefully this ends up working. Alright, let's get the automated wiring done and that'll end the episode because we're already after 30 minutes. Basically, we're going to want to rearrange this part of everything. Now it's just going to go straight there. This is going to be a little bit different. See if we can get this up sideways, kind of over here. Can we do this? No. Okay, let's advance that a little bit. So there. Can we get that up there? Looks like it. Okay. Too close. All right, not working. Ugh, it's too bad. Of 
Right, I should keep it at least at the same length. seems to be flowing. It was probably a little bit backlogged, but it'll catch up. Um, Alright, to the right will be overflow. Straight. Steel beam. Long left. Alright, that gets everything working, but then we get the steel pipe available and that's what we want steel pipe to be available two three four oh, let's try and make this go over here so we need two assemblers one for a stator oh <laughs> I don't want to fall down to nothing. Alright, that's done. Now our assembler. that splitter unfortunately. No. Alright. Let's use a different one. Alright, well, let's leave the corridor open. We'll do that. Okay, so this will be stator. This will be automated wiring. Alright, and let's get power up here. how we're going to merge everything. At least that gets some steel pipes in. Alright. Um, what, what needs to come in here? Wire. Can you go the other way? Not really. That's only go one way. Ugh. That's too bad. That's not going to go the other way. Thank you. 
as any of these smart splitters, you're not going to be able to use both directions. Only a single direction. Alright, I guess we have to go up and get another AI limiter. That sucks. Video is long enough already. Could have been shorter if I would have thought about the Caterium needs in advance. Oh well. Part of building is making mistakes, so let's go get that extra AI limiter. So we'll need two AI limiters: one for the cable, one for the wire. Then we can just merge everything into the line. We already have a merger in there, so we can maybe put it through that slot. Alright, yeah, I think we're... There. We already have the power to everything, so we don't need any more of that. Once, uh, so this will be a longer than usual episode, uh, once we're done this episode, we're going to, I think, I think I'll unlock hypertubes to be the last thing in this episode. Cable to the left. Overflow straight. Right. None. I want to capture everything. So that'll be the wire. Okay, so five statters, fifteen. Is that what's in here? 20. Okay, so there's 5. Uh, I guess we'll need another smart splitter here. You know what? I'm going to do that off screen. But we'll put an another smart splitter there to go back in and merge in. But I'll do that off screen. Um, let's see, what does this need? 2.5? Yeah, so just a, a splitter will be fine for that. need a smart splitter because it's exactly half so that'll be good okay automated wiring cable 50 Slow down to level one. Just 50 cables. There we go. Then automated wiring. So we're definitely going to need like three. Uh, yeah, we'll need a merger down here. Probably right in here, to be honest. Oh, 
Oh, not quite. Okay. Yeah, because we're going to have overflow pipe. We'll have our statter coming in this way. And our automated wiring coming in from over here. I don't like the... I didn't like the clipping. You know what, the, the unlocking of hypertubes will do next episode. Uh, or maybe, okay, where do I need to merge? So, that needs to come in there. Hmm. Automated, so it's just the steel pipes. We'll come back down after. I'll come back down off screen. Alright, so the only thing remaining now is unlock hypertubes, and I'll build a hypertube thing coming down here off screen as well and show it off next episode. So now we have automated wiring and statters being automated and coming upstairs. see our results of, our, of this episode. Hopefully we have some down here by now. No, it looks like we beat them to it. All right. Let's unlock some need piping. Three hundred of those. Three hundred of these. And then 50 beams, enhanced beams. Which next episode we're going to be automating the enhanced beams, in case industrial beams, and the um, the motors. But we're not going to max them out because we don't, we just don't have the coal to do it. But we're going to get them at least automated and get some being produced. So after I unlocked hypertubes, uh, join me next time for uh, my satisfactory uh, let's play. And we're just going to do this right now, we're approaching 50 minutes. So this is going to be a long video. But if you made it this far into my playthrough, I guess you're probably okay watching longer videos. Milestone reached. Fixit Incorporated has processed and incorporated frequent pioneer requests for pipe based personal transport. Introducing Hypertubes. Safe, aesthetic, adaptable, fun. Enjoy a view of your hard work as you soar through incredibly tight turns. Build them today. Note Fixit Incorporated is not responsible for any harm caused by irresponsible use of this product. Alright, I'm Phantom 2502. Uh, thanks for watching my Let's Play. Um, next episode, we'll be looking at the encased industrial beams and motor automation. I'm going to do some hypertubes and fix that uh, extra air limiter wall off screen. Um, and I'll show you the, the things between screens next episode. Thanks for joining me. Join me next time. Bye bye.